hi youtube viewers today we will learn about how to pass multiple data from one page to another page in asp.net now let's start it this is my web application it don't have any other forms so i will add two forms for this project one is web form one and the other is web form two I will pass the data of web form 1 to web form 2. So open web form 1. Here I will add two text box. And one button. This is text box 1, this is text box 2 and this is button 1. And here on level. I will do in the form 2 I will add two labels Le level 1 and level 2 so I will transfer this text box 1 text to the level 1 and this to the level 2 so for this I will double click the button so it will show me the code behind let's add a, let's add a code response dot redirect web form 2 dot aspx question mark F name is equal to here I will add concatenation plus text box one dot text and this and then again I will add a concatenation and here I will type last name is equal to and then I will add concatenation text box two dot text and that's it and close the my parenthesis this is the code for the first page and now I will go to the second page here I will click on on the main page so it will take me page load event here I will declare two variables dim s and ts string sorry ss string s is equal to request dot Field string here a will be f name f name take text box one from the first page first form web form one and then for the second variable dim t as string t is equal to request dot query string and this is open double quotes last name I think it's the last name oh yeah last name and F name first name last name So here level one takes the place of F name is equal to S, which is in the variable S, and level two that takes is equal to T. That's it. Now run this application.
Shakir. F name is Sajad and last name is Shakir. First name and last name. F name is stand for father name, but anyhow, I manage it for the first name. Now click the button. You can see that first name, last name. Oh, yeah. I did a little mistake here. Mm. Here I will add and button and code and and here. Yeah. And then I will run it again. Look at this. Sajad and Shagir. Here is the F name from the query string and that N take towards the L name last name from the first name this is important thing in the query string the F name is Sajad and the L name is Shage that's it double or multiple Multiple data from the query string can be taken through the variables. So use variables how much you want. Remember this type of applications or this type of things are used in searching uh, an uh, searching uh, a database, searching from a database. You can search by multiple data like you can search from f name you can search from a last name you can search from roll number or id so if you need to be to search a person from id plus his last name or plus his first name so you can use these types of tricks so enjoy this video and kindly subscribe my channel for more videos thank you